Hey, what's up and welcome to the How We Get Fit podcast. Yeah. This is the show where we talk to fit people to help you get fit too. <laughs> uh, in today's episode, we have... John Hook is in the house. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm a go-getter. We have a short bio Hi. for him. Yes, I mean it could be a really long bio actually because John, did you know you're actually super famous? Because when we Google no. you, no, it's true, listeners. Because when you Google John Hook, he actually is the one that pops up. Like no way. Yes, Google. The first there is like the second guy down. There is another is... guy, but you're the first result. Yes, I think so the that's other guy's how like you a lawyer know you made or like uh, a mayor or something. Google yeah, doesn't yeah, lie. I, and with a, a name like John Hook, I don't know how popular that name is. It sounds like it might be a popular name. Yeah, the name John alone. You're the top of the popular name. Just saying. It's you're like kind of profesh. You're like kind of a big deal. So <laughs> Put that on my tombstone. There you go. The first, first page on Google. On Google. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I mean, it could be a long bio, but we'll keep it short, but John is a professional photographer. And if you follow him on Instagram, which I would recommend, you'll see that he has uh, a passion for surfing. He has pictures of himself surfing, his beautiful wife surfing, who could be a model, and a friend surfing, strangers surfing. I mean, it's, he just lives a very active, beautiful life. And we're so excited that you're here, John. Oh, I'm excited and we're gonna pick to your be brain. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested to know what I know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll dig it out today. Is it, is we'll it weird? Have you ever thought in your life that you'd be interviewed on a fitness podcast and not like a photography no. podcast? No. I mean, as maybe like a before and after story. Like <laughs> I, would be, I would be the before guy. Like I, I would, I'm still like, because I, I really, I don't think, I mean, I don't think of fitness in a way that I, I'm sure right. so many people think about it and like always think about it. Like, yeah right your lifestyle is just a result or your the your the way that you live just causes you to naturally be an active well, what person. is what is fitness yeah to you? what is fitness to you uh i guess fit, fitness to me would be kind of yeah just like body health and mental health mm -hmm. but if, mm -hmm. if i if i said the word fitness at first i would think of just physical health mm -hmm. and it's right. more and I wouldn't even think of fitness as uh, like uh, what you would look like physically appearance. Mm, I would right. think like how, how long you would live from mm. just being alive naturally. Like that would right. be a physical, right. like somebody who would live to like 90 years old would be a physical, like to me, like right. fit, like, man, that guy must've been really healthy to right. live right. that long naturally. Right. That, so it wasn't, it wouldn't really necessarily be about for me, like strength or, or flexibility or something like that. Like that's how I see right. somebody who is fit. Like maybe if oh, like, okay all the insides were running really good. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's... Yeah. I love that. In, in fact, preparing for this, scrolling through your Instagram, I'm like, man, this guy has an interesting life. I am excited <laughs> to hear his interesting perspective. I knew that you would have an yeah. interesting perspective. <laughs> and on. out of the box. Yeah. Because you're right. Fitness. I think most people do think about fitness in like a box kind of thing. But it like doesn't... A, do you think most people think of it as like a physical look? Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm. I, I think so. Like it's i think that guilty <laughs> uh i think yeah. it's pretty much in a box you know like most people think like uh eat right eat mm -hmm. uh work out and get the body that i want which right? equals okay. Oh, okay i'm fit but you have yeah. a different and i love that perspective take on that yeah. living a long healthy life yeah, yeah. And that, that, that's what I, I want. And, I, you know, it's been mentioned because I, I do have a terrible diet. Like, I never think about what I eat, like, mm. in a way, like, oh, this should be good for you, or like, this is bad for you, or this is processed, or whatever. And um, I, you know, sometimes I'm concerned, like, man, is this going to really cut into my lifetime? Like, mm. somebody, was, somebody was like, mm. you don't want to eat healthy. And I was like, why would I want to eat healthy? Like, I don't even really <laughs> care, care about eating right. that much. Like, right. I'm not a foodie. Mm. I don't like restaurants. And it's like, I don't really care right. what I eat. And then my friend said, like, yeah, but don't you want to live long so you can see Bella grow up, mm -hmm. like my daughter grow up and go to college and stuff like that. Right to the gut. Right, and get married. And I was yep. like, well, I do want to live that long. <laughs> I, did the math. I was like, well, how long is that? Like, do I have to live till I'm 60? Do I only have to live till I'm whatever? And I was like, well, if I eat, whatever. But that was the, kind of the only thing that made me think, like, okay, maybe I should think about 
mm, what I right. eat just so I would live longer to see that right. kind of stuff. Cause I, right. but I really don't care necessarily what I, what I look like by what I eat. And then, um, right. An, yeah. Another thing is, so, so when I concentrated on not concentrated, but like, I really tried to watch what I eat and I was like, okay, right. I'll just try to eat healthy foods, a lot of greens, fish. Like I tried to stay away from red meat and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Mm. And I tried to do small portions and stuff like that. And it, I hated it. I was right. like, I, I was like, this sucks. I, I want to <laughs> eat donuts from the gas station. Yeah. Like, right. That's right. my favorite thing to do in the morning is go for a walk, go get donuts and a Red Bull and then come right back home. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, well, maybe, uh, maybe instead of eating right, I'll just work out. I was right. like, maybe I could just e- eat, eat whatever I want and work out. And then like two days at the gym, I was like, dude, this sucks. <laughs> like, maybe it's better to just to eat right. Like, forget working out. Like, I couldn't, I can't even do one of them. I don't know how people do both, but I right. can't even do one. Like, yeah. so. Right, right. Me either. I love, I love I'm not that. sure. I can't. I I'm the, yeah. I'm the like, let's buy candy and eat it for <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Why not? I like to eat healthy too, but mm-hmm. it's just super easy to also eat candy. So, yes. so oh, man. thank you for inspiring us now to go and now. not thank work you. out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <What? No. laughs> and, 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 uh, donuts from the gas station. <laughs> no, but you have, you have a very active lifestyle. Yeah. And yeah. So, so yeah, go into I, that. I, yeah, it's funny because I don't think about it as an active lifestyle. To me, it's right. just what I normally do. Mm. But if you're comparing it to somebody who doesn't do what I do, it would seem like I'm doing a lot of stuff right. and I never think about it as active. Cause I've been like kind of living that way since I was a kid, you know, like I always went to the beach or liked going outside and just playing mm-hmm. games and stuff. And then in high school, it turned into the beach. So all through high oh, school, okay. was, like beach, you know, after mm-hmm. school, go to the beach, go to the beach weekends, go to Waikiki. And then I started surfing and then it was like surfing, surfing. And then when I had a regular job, every day was work and then surf before work or surf after work or surf, surf on your day off. And then yeah. to me, that was just because I loved doing it. It wasn't right. activity. Yeah. It was just like, yeah. I'm going to do it no matter what. Like if it was bad for you, I would still do it. But it, just <laughs> right. so happened. Right. it was so happens. happens that it's good for you. And I was like, I never yeah. even thought it was good for me until I think I went to the, I went to the doctor one day and just like a checkup, yeah. maybe 10 years ago or something. And then mm-hmm. I was totally worried about what they're going to say. Like, Oh, you need to, <laughs> Have you Drink been eating less sugar? Or, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, they did the checkup, and she she asked me. She was like, "Oh, your all the blood pressures and everything, the heart rates, everything's really good." And she's like, "Do you swim?" Oh, I was like, no, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a swimmer. Like, I never. I think she asked, like, "Did you swim in high school?" And do you swim now? I was like, "No, no, wow. I, I just surf a lot." And she's like, "Yeah, that that would do it." Like, oh. wow, she I could told tell. Her my diet's terrible, <laughs> or something. She she must have known something that like based right. on what my habits were it reflected in the numbers or whatever yeah yes and that was the first thing she asked me she's like oh do you swim and i was like yeah so i was like is swimming super good for you and she's just like it seems like you know swimmers um tend to have like um better heart rates heart pressure blood pressure like i don't know that thing the normal checkup things yeah that makes sense i mean when i was uh trying to swim because (laughs) you know I, i had the idea to do triathlons and yeah I, but I, I discovered that I was pretty fast running and, and okay yeah. on the bike. When You're really good to, at running. You're a really good runner. Yes. But when it came to the swim, I, um, I sank. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like my bone density is really, uh, I, I, got a swim, I actually got a swim coach to try to help me. But she's like, wow. watch me swim. And she's like, yeah, um, try to fix it. She's like, no, like your hips, like. I got a lot of junk in the trunk or something because it's yeah. like, <laughs> huh, like, I wonder what it is. What cre- you- creates drag. Like she tried to fix it, but it's she's not like, much can, you should just stick to running. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Cause yeah. I wouldn't even think, I would think water is like something anybody can do, but I'm right. not sure. I mean, I'm sure everybody can do, right. but there's probably a physical attribute yeah. that like help you or hinder you. I am right. not yeah. Michael Phelps. Yeah. You know, but yeah, you know, he was is. last coming out of the water, but he, beat everybody he caught up to everyone on the run oh, nice. <laughs> the bike. so just leave him on land and yes. but yeah, I, wanted to, I wanted to yeah. backtrack to you said as a kid you were always active so mm-hmm. was that something that was instilled in you like hey get outside and play yeah yeah so my dad was a big baseball guy so mm. he was always playing softball he wanted me to play baseball right like live the dream yep, play baseball yeah. so I, I you know ever since t-ball but I loved it so it was fun like I loved playing baseball all the time and then oh. 
just so lucky. I think the places I grew up in right. had really good outdoor things. It, it oh, wasn't okay. someone like, you know, I only spent time in freezing cold places like two or three years out of my childhood where mm-hmm. you're like, you can't go outside because it's cold, or whatever. Like right. most places I lived in, you could always go outside any time of year and just like ride a bike around, you know, just like, and that was nice. super fun. That's the yeah. best. And were you good at baseball? Yeah. I was okay until wow. until the until the level got to like high school, mm. middle school level where kids got good, and then I got like super scared. I was like, man, I don't want to get hit by a pitch. And <laughs> oh just, like, yeah. And then I yeah. be behind us. But that's yeah. when you, yeah, you yeah. transferred into the water then, around that time. Kind, yep, yeah, kind of. Yep, yeah. I definitely transferred out of out of baseball where it got hard. I was like, ah, I don't know, <laughs> it's kind of hard. <laughs> I want to swim. And then yeah, just watch cartoons for like a year, <laughs> and then probably like. <laughs> probably ninth 10th grade in high school then i went into the water yeah f- found a group of friends wow. okay. and you okay. was it bodyboarding or you went straight to surfing it was about because you know back then we everybody had to catch the bus yes so, yes yeah, I, I heard you couldn't bring a surfboard on the bus so everybody just got into bodyboarding just because right. it was easier to bring on the bus yeah uh, and yeah. where'd you guys go just like uh waikiki and then um barbara's point like ever beach you could catch a bus to like hot bush back then Oh <laughs> yeah! I was never. You were. You would bodyboard. Yeah, I I took um a tray from McDonald's once. I don't know if I should be. Oh saying, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you know, McDonald's started to drill holes in all the trays, so people start. Thinking, oh, oh really? If, if you ever see holes in a McDonald's tray, it's because because of that. People oh, just no take them to go Sandy's. That's why. Yep. Ah, so in high school, gonna, they started drilling holes. Every time, oh. I don't go to McDonald's yeah. inside. I go through the drive-thru. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> next time I go, I'm going to check yeah. it out. <laughs> I didn't know. I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. I don't yeah. even think I knew people took the trace. Oh, it's, the per- it's, it's the perfect tool for body surfing. That's so yeah. hilarious. So, so what do you do now um, as far as your uh, – because diet, you said, isn't the, the best. That's not what you yeah. focus on. But yeah. what is – like? a week of your activities like um like your ideal week even of, yeah. even um um yeah yeah what was what would your ideal week of activities be i mean it would honestly it would be surf every day wow. surf seven days a week so okay. even if i as a photographer luckily a lot of my photo shoots are never really like eight in the morning till mm. eight at night they're either right. half day or even if they're eight hours or like two to eight or Right. They can be flexible with schedules. So there is a possibility right. to surf or get in the water every day. Cool. So okay. Okay. If, if, the, if the waves were good all week, I would surf, surf every day that week. week. And then um, the good thing about being a photographer and, and, you know, I love taking pictures is if the surf is kind of junk, I, I would still rather swim oh. and take pictures oh. Oh, and yeah. not surf. Like, like if I don't surf, I'll have just as much fun jumping in the water with my fans yeah, and right. my camera and, and yeah. just shooting, shooting people surfing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, That's yeah. what we noticed is you combined all of your interests yeah. into like, <laughs> you made yeah, it really I, I just, for yeah. you. <laughs> so lucky. But a lot of the, like my job job, a lot of it is not really surf photography or water photography. It'll right. be like weddings, commercial stuff, you know, shooting. Right a restaurant that opened or um, oh, Aloha yeah. shirts for a company or something like that. But that still gives me the time to surf any other time. And then right. when I get to shoot surfing, it's, it's cause I, I want to do it. It's not cause right. somebody paid me to go up, right. up in the water, you know? Yeah. That's awesome. Is yeah. it is okay. Cause when I tried surfing for the first time, uh, at one point I just was like, waves just take <laughs> me away. I couldn't even move my arms. And I was, was just yeah. like, I her was laying like a seal. Neck, her back, her shoulders, <laughs> I was her, like, like I gave everything. Up. I was like, just take me away. I don't even care. <laughs> I couldn't. I could not believe the workout yeah. in your arms. It's like a full yeah. body workout. It it's, really is. I but, and I don't even know about full body. It's definitely different. <laughs> For me, I've seen, yeah. I, I, I've seen guys that are just like cut, like Bruce Lee cut, like yeah. looking like Guile from Street Fighter, like cut, like wow, you look tight and then they'll have the hardest time surfing for the first time yeah. like when, when you take take a take right. a different muscles surfing, just different like they just yeah they can lift me over their head but right. i can out paddle them so it's just ah. i don't know what it is it, it's, it's a little bit of technique but it's definitely right. a different type of muscle you're using for surfing right it's a little different yeah. from surfing too because even same thing like good swimmers doesn't necessarily translate to good paddling on a surfboard mm, okay right. then you start right. arching your back and doing this other stuff but whatever those muscles are um 
or yeah, it's just completely different from I think a different right. type of like surfing muscle right. and no, that the is whole so act true. of surfing, like popping up on a surfboard, right. mm. paddling, duck diving, everything right. is like yeah, yeah, little push ups and right, right, right. So you kind of get you kind of get a full body. Uh, even when yeah. you're on the board, right? You're using your legs. Yeah, and... then your legs, right? For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, do you get really sore? Is. Like, are, do you, is there ever a day where you're like, man, that was, oh, I'm sore, I'm, I'm tired. So, yeah, sometimes like if there's a lot of current or you're catching a lot of waves and surfing a long time, yeah, you'll get, you'll feel it in your shoulders. Just kind of like, yeah. oh, I don't know if I could paddle anymore. And like, sometimes yeah. that's just like, that'll happen while you're surfing and just like, okay, I'm done. I'm going to go <laughs> in, you know? But yeah. is that, that's cur- I'm curious because is that, is that often that you get sore from doing it? Well, now, now I think in high school, I would say, yes, it's often like, you mm. know, the third surf of the week, you'd be oh, like, yeah. oh, dude, I'm, I'm cooked. Oh, right. Like, I'm right. But right. now right. I feel like I surf so much because of like, I, you know, I haven't had much work and we've had all right. this time off. And then I was able to surf all the time. I feel like yeah. I, I got conditioned to like, now I can kind of surf right. every day of the week and probably not get tired. So there's kind of yeah. a, there's kind of a point or like a, uh, like you get over a dip where, yeah, um, it's kind of like you're in like mm-hmm. a flow state. Um, yeah, where you don't get sore, but you're still working out. You're still getting in shape without getting yeah. sore. That's I yeah. find that interesting. It's good. Yeah, because like when you're not feeling it, it's awesome, right? You don't feel like you're yeah. getting sore. But you, when you come in, you realize like, even if you didn't catch any good waves, I'm seriously like, oh, at least I got a good workout. I must have. Yeah, like yeah, I paddled yeah. like for 40 waves today. Right. I paddled all over. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Yeah. And how like, long whatever, is a, you know, like, yeah. yeah I was just I was gonna ask how like, long how is a long session are you for surfing? You? It's good. It, I mean, if it's good, you can surf for four hours. Yeah. But <laughs> a, a, a normal day, like if you're just gonna like nothing to do, jump in the right. water, you'll probably surf for two hours max. Just be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, two yeah. hours in the parking meter is like usually perfect and then come back in. See, I, I the the fittest people I know and like, you know, whatever people think fit is, but the fittest people <laughs> I know are like like surfers and like people that hunt that's actually spend hours doing things mm. at not yeah. necessarily yeah. like a break not for pace, the yeah you know like but it's consistent they're yeah. going their body's constantly moving yeah and, and it's interesting because a lot of things are going towards high intensity you yeah. know training um but I, I know you're like when you're paddling for a wave and it's like above head, that's pretty intense. But yeah, yeah and it's, <laughs> just, it's just a little burst. Yeah. 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 But I mean, you get a burst, but it's not like intense. Like, you know, when, yeah. when I see like some surfers are super into working out too. Like, right. Um, and I've watched some of their workouts and it's just like, it seems crazy to me because there's no way I could do that. Like, oh. or I ever would want to. But <laughs> I, I guess it, it, it makes sense. It's just, like I, like that one time I went to the gym, I was like, man, if you're not having fun, I was like, I cannot mm-hmm. get into it. But then again, you know, right. I'm married. I yeah. have a kid. I'm not like trying yeah. to impress anybody. Like I don't <laughs> need to be, it's not, it's not like I don't need to be fit, but I, I'm not like trying to get in the mirror right. and be like, yes. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, everyone can just go on your Instagram and just be like, oh, okay. Yeah. He's fit. <laughs> he surfs. Yeah. Yeah. We were like, we, like we said, we were stalking hard. We're like, John. <laughs> Do you even work out, bro? No, you don't. <laughs> and we had guessed that you maybe didn't care about your diet just because we know you so. So do you think your yeah. genes have anything to do with it? I mean, it, I don't follow it that much, but it must. I mean, like, first of all, there's definitely surfers that are not your idea of physically fit. You know, right. like yeah. there's some beer belly guys that are can still like right. paddle like mad, still catch right. huge waves, still surf all day. And they look like, your grandpa or whatever right. just like dang dude right. like crazy yeah so there's definitely i mean there's guys in high school that surfed all the time with me that were getting gray hair and just started to get like mm. you know bigger and here in high you school. are right mm-hmm. so, yeah so my my mom is filipino and like her parents were relatively skinny fit and then my mom's still fit you know and then my dad same thing pretty fit but my dad's getting that like dad bod like <laughs> re, re, he's got the he's got the retired like right oh, yeah cool i'm cool your sister's yeah. super right. active in, yeah, and she lives she too. leads a super active cool lifestyle too yeah, yeah. Are, are your parents active like do they like like to walk or like swim or big walkers yeah, oh big walkers. yeah mm. so like it's just something I, that's, that's a, in your I family <laughs> I, you guess, never... I, 
I would never walk. Like my dad, when he visits, he's like, we're going to go on a walk. And every Aww. morning they go on a walk. And I'm like, there's no way. I'm not, I'm not walking two miles for <laughs> Let nothing. me know when you come home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's, I'd rather I, swim two miles. Like, yeah. God. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. <laughs> that's funny. I'll swim there. There's you walk it. there. Yeah. It's more of just finding, I think it's like finding that thing. Like maybe it's the same exact workout, but walking to me is so boring. Like I'm looking, I don't know. I'm looking at my feet and just like, mm -hmm. whatever. I'm so distracted <laughs> in, in the water. You have to worry about not drowning. Right. So you're yeah, what concentrated. is it for you for, about surfing? Like, what is it about surfing that you're just like, you're hooked on it. This is your thing. I don't know. It's first of all, it's like surfing is something you can never perfect. I think. So mm, for the rest right. for the rest of your life you can surf every day and still want to get a little better or yeah, yeah, yeah. try something else. And then it's fun if you do it with friends and then mm. every session's a little different, you know, you're cuz you're doing something in mother nature that every time the wave is going to be a little different. You know, yeah, yeah. you're not surfing, you're not skating like a half pipe where the half pipe is exactly the half pipe right. every time you skate. Oh, I got pipe. you. So mm. every you time you go right. in the water is a little different. That's right. But it's weird cuz you go to you go to the mainland, the first thing I want to do is jump in the water like it's just ah. something about the ocean. I think that, not just for me, that like, I'm sure there's so many people out there that just right. like, yeah, I, that's why I'm not, you can't move away from Hawaii because there's people <laughs> like, like, I don't care how expensive it is. I've right. got to live by the ocean. You know? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's, and there, just the other day, I was like, gosh, I just want to jump in the water. Like, I just want to get in the water and feel the water yeah. rush over yep. my head yeah. and yep. just float around. I wish I could surf. I cannot, but. I, it is there's just something about being in the water yeah. and i love it and it's just that, that, that's, there's so many aspects about the ocean besides yeah. surfing like you right. don't have to surf like right. like getting into water photography for me was crazy fun like mm. it's like well i'm not surfing but i'm having just as much fun swimming right. like right. and taking pictures of people like yeah it, it's pretty right. awesome like that, I'm, I'm sure that's why people love free diving and fishing and you know, I never yeah, do any of that. Speaking of let's segue, let's segue. <laughs> different things you can do in the Shanna has a question for you. What yeah. the heck is foiling? I still I look at your pictures and I still I know okay. I message you like what are you doing, yeah. John? Is this a motor? And I still don't get it. <laughs> there's no there's no there's no motor. It's so it's literally basically they I think this is old technology that they were trying to make boats faster, like cruise ships mm. or whatever, Coast Guard boats. And um you basically are riding on an airplane wing. So an airplane wing is um, wow. Was that like a? That's not a hydrofoil. What, what is an aerofoil? Like, you know, you're putting an airplane wing underwater, and then with speed, you know, the, it's dude. I don't know the physics of it, but it's functioning like an airplane. How okay. does so it float? You, like I see. Okay, so it's so, called foiling, everyone. And if you go to his Instagram, and you'll see pictures, it looks like he's floating on his board on top of the water yeah so it's uh, so hydrofoiling right so hydrofoiling like hydro is a water part basically it's a surfboard the, the first uh, you're on a surfboard but underneath the surfboard is a mast which is basically mm. like this long it's not a pole it's not, it's not like circular but it's like a oh, mast. okay then, okay I right. see. and then under the mast is the airplane wing or the foil the hydrofoil oh, wow so how do you stay okay. on it balance it's it's yeah it seems ridiculous because the first couple of times you try it, it seems impossible. Anybody who's ever tried, mm. even if you're the best surfer in the world, you try foiling for the first few times, it's, it'll humble you so much. It's like so hard, so hard. But then once you get it, it's pretty easy. But basically, yeah, you catch a wave just like how you do on a surfboard. And then once that foil underwater, that wing underwater gets any speed, it'll lift up. Oh. Like an airplane. You know, like, like a, how, yeah. how big is it? Like how tall the, the is wing it? is... The mast is like 28 inches or 30 inches, most of them. Okay. So okay. All, almost three feet tall. And then the okay. wing is maybe three feet wide. Wow. Almost. Wow. No, no, it's only like two feet, maybe two feet to three feet. But okay. it okay. is so crazy. And so somebody told me recently, who was it? That about foiling, like you use really use your legs for this. It's mm. like so much balance in your legs. Oh. and people will say it's pumping or whatever, but so yeah, you're kind of like doing these like squats with your legs. And somebody oh, told me like when you, when you use your thighs, you're burning the most uh, blood sugar or most sugar okay. out of your wow. system. Big muscles, that's why. I guess. But yeah. then that's what I was thinking. I was like, dude, then I could just eat whatever and just pour it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was, More donuts. 
I was like, burn sugar? Yeah, okay, cool. I was about Beating to do the dream. sugar-free Red Bull. Yeah, I was about to do sugar-free, but I'm going to keep with the sugar. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when you first tried foiling, did you yeah. feel like you got a leg workout? Like where your legs Oh, sore? yeah. No, but the, the first couple times you try it, you, you can't feel even like stand up. Yeah, you're, you're just like, your back is sore, your head is sore, your legs start from falling down so much. So it's like, wow. Because you get, you get lifted like two feet high and then oh. you fall down. So imagine just climbing to a short board, like a diving board, and just back flopping like oh. every time. Oh. Like just pop, 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 pop. So do that like 50 <laughs> times. <laughs> and that, that's what it's like. So it's just like falling oh, okay. two feet off the water. But so, once you get it, it feels like a full leg workout. Like, oh right, my like, gosh. Right. It almost feels like, I didn't know if you do like squats. So another gym story is like, <laughs> I did squats and I was like, I never work out. So I was like, I don't know how many weights you're supposed to do on a squat. I was like, I did like whatever, 50 pounds. I was like, oh, this is so light. So I just keep doing like whatever. Like, so it got hard. I didn't even pay oh. attention to how many it was. So it got like heavy. So I was like, okay, that's about right, right? And I did like, uh, uh, uh. And I literally, I got, I got off the machine and I was like, oh, I think I ate something weird. And, and I had to go outside to throw up. Oh. I walked out of 24 hour fitness and like threw up in the oh. trash can on the, on the sidewalk. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I must have ate something weird. And then you got a good workout. I asked my, yeah, I, I asked my friend, I was like, dude, did you eat something weird? Did you throw up after the gym? He's like, no, did you do legs? I was like, yeah, I did squats. He's like, yeah, that's yeah. why. If you do like yeah. crazy squats, it feels like you want to throw up. I was like, yeah. oh. Yep. But anyway, I'll, I'll get that feeling if you're your foil surfing like hydro foiling after a really long time you feel like you uh, want to throw up because your, your legs you get are that, just like that same hooked, kind of yeah. effect yeah what is the um like why foiling like does it feel different than surfing like are you going faster yes if you're going faster for sure and then you're also higher so you oh. forget that, like, that it's a whole nother adrenaline level like surfing wave but even though like say you're surfing a wave that's like to your chest or waist even like most people surf like chest high waves right you're kind of surfing that wave but then you're two feet above it sort of so it feels oh. like you're on a bigger wave oh and then the <sighs> speed the speed is like for real like oh my god i'm going fast. <laughs> the most scary. Uh. how fast are you going have you ever taken one know. of those you gotta take a thing what like, are those it doesn't things? matter it doesn't matter how fast you're going it's how fast you feel like right. you oh. feel <laughs> like you're going 30 miles an hour yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So that's what, it's super exciting. So it makes like really weak like junk waves oh, feel awesome. I get it. I get it. That's why cuz you're so at Kahana you doing this. Uh, yeah, Kahana Bay, like Barber's Point, like other weak right. waves that are just kind of like That's where they're I okay tried to, to surf, surf, but Barber's Point. So the baby do you take wave. them yeah. in in bigger waves or are you able you to can, ride that in the Would that big... be ridiculous? Yeah, no. So basically that's what the future is. Like people are getting like towed into waves outside Hollywood like giant waves. What? And just on like the foil going, boards, yes, getting what? towed behind a ski, they let go and just fly. And then this guy wow. he just got barreled in one. <gasps> but I'm telling you, that to me doesn't sound fun at all. Like, <laughs> it's so scary. Like, once you are foiling on a wave that's like head high, you're like, no, this is yeah, yeah. crazy. Really, yeah. wow, oh, yeah, my but that's God. like, yeah, because you're lifted, you're raised it's crazy yeah. it's hard so, to explain until until you try it then you're like this is crazy <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so how did you get into foiling yeah oh my so my friend got into it and it was totally one of those things like i don't know if you're familiar with growing up with surfing like you're surfing and then all of a sudden your favorite spot has all these long borders show up oh you're and like, you're oh, like oh. like dude come on <laughs> uh, yeah and then uh, you know yep. <laughs> Later, all the stand-up paddlers start coming out. You're like, oh, wow, those guys really suck. <laughs> and then, then you start seeing people foiling. And then you're like, dude, those guys suck. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, uh, my, fr my friend made me try it. He, he got into yeah. it through mutual friends. He made me try it. And I was like, okay, I'll at least try it. And then I was so yeah. bad at it that made me want to learn it. I was like, I uh, can't believe I'm yeah. so bad at something in the ocean. Like, uh, it's yeah. terrible. So, oh, yeah. I wanted to at least be able to do it before challenge I totally hated on it. Yeah. But then once yeah. you figure out how to do it, you like, you fall in love right. with it. Yeah. Uh, so now you're the guy foiling and everyone's like, God, the foiling. Uh, this, yeah. That reminds me of when I was in the nineties and uh, there was skateboarding and then uh -huh. I started rollerblading. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I know. I was, I was asking, we were wondering like, okay, so we were comparing like the skate scene and the surf scene, like, 
yeah. we were thinking like the skating is kind of equal to like surfing like okay that's cool and then like, right. the bmx biking is like equal to like bodyboarding and then it's foiling yeah. like rollerblading yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know how you see rollerbladers like, oh, there's that guy rollerblading, is it? <laughs> Maybe fo Foiling's going to make a comeback. It, no, it's going to be cool. It's kind of, I don't know. It's hard to explain, like, yeah. Like, skating to me is like, yeah, that's super exciting. Like, it makes so much sense. And I don't know. Foiling, it's, I don't know. Is, more it's, is it more exciting to you than surfing now? Well, like when you wake up and you're like, ooh, do we, oh, yeah. oh, it depends right. on the waves. No, yeah, if the waves yeah. are really good, I still want to surf. But if they're junk, you're still excited to go. Right. Cool, because you're now go you foil. can yeah. foil. Ooh. That's, yeah. that's awesome. That's, yeah. so, you can still do what you love to do and even faster yeah. now. Oh, yeah. and, and that's something that where I feel like, okay, I, I worked out today. Like, dude, like mm. I'm going to go uh, eat a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go get yeah, McDonald's. Yeah. I earned it because you really feel like, oh, my legs. I Dude, I've... Right. You're, you're almost paddling like a surfboard with an anchor on it. So there's more uh, resistance oh, paddling. So it's just that like is a paddling yeah. board. Like workout. A workout. Yeah. I yeah. can't so imagine. If you're out there and you haven't gone to the beach for a session, you are extremely hungry after. Like you spent oh, two hours yeah. surfing or bodyboarding or something, yeah. you're extremely hungry after. So imagine yeah. if you're foiling. Yeah. So if you're doing something yeah, like that, you're going to be <clears throat> super hungry after. Yeah, uh, I don't which, know what it is about surfing or like, yeah, you know, ocean things like people will mention food and then you're like, yeah, let's go. Like, yeah. so it's like the so salt hungry. is yeah. sucking surfing. out your and, like, maybe it's the I, salt too. Yeah. You know, and I feel like you're allowed to eat a lot more unhealthy after you come from the beach. <laughs> it like the feels sun like, has was, sucked out all just, of the. It yeah. feels oh, like man. you need to replenish. And that's what I'm telling myself. You know, <laughs> yeah. do you I'm, have a go to after the beach meal? Oh, there's so many. There's so many. Like, I mean, anything from the gas station to Taco Bell to Zippies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, a local, you can't beat a local moco, but mm. I mean, mm. if sometimes I'm after convenience. So it's just like yeah. a hot dog and like <laughs> drive through. Yeah. What? Seven so Eleven like, has some legit food. No, yeah. They yes, do. They do. Especially the big Healthy, one on the big island. Not too sure. <laughs> oh, oh hell. But delicious. But delicious. Always. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, I, I did want to uh, um, ask you about because you are you're an entrepreneur, right? Like you own your own business sure. for the most part, right? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. and and do that. And so um, you're I know right now, um, COVID things are slow, probably, but in a normal uh, world, when you're working, you got to be pretty, busy. pretty busy, right? Um, do you find it hard? Or how do you fit everything in? And you travel a lot and you do a lot of active stuff on while you're traveling. Like, how do you fit it all in? uh yeah well honestly l lucky for me that, that my job that like being a photographer you do have a lot of schedule flexibility mm. so you know because nothing is like calling you up that morning like hey we need to shoot tonight right everything is like when are you Got free it. next week or or hey we need to shoot something it's going to take three days when are right. you free so you can kind of make a schedule and I seriously make my, like, I'll look at the surf forecast, <laughs> like, weeks out and, be, and and try to schedule portfolio. Like, uh, you know, somebody's wedding is a little different story. Like, somebody will ask. Like, but that's, like, six months in advance. So, like, hey, you know, we're getting right. married on, that's you know, to 2020, you know, like, yeah, I'm, I'm available. I can be available. Right. So, you're just kind of, I just kind of plan accordingly where I'm not working or have like seven days in a row of shoots where I'm like, it doesn't right, look like, right. I mean, un unless it's like a crazy job that's like, you can't say no to it, but right. most of the time you're able to schedule it yourself. And like, yeah, that, I think that's just kind of, I like that you prioritized um, <laughs> your activity. <laughs> yeah, well, um, but that's important. I try to, yeah, yeah, I try to, but like nothing is worse than like, if you had the option to pick one day next week to have that photo shoot, and then it just so happens that one day is the same day that the surf is perfect. You're going to oh! like lose your mind. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yes. Done, yeah. I, I could have done that the day before, you know? So yep. I, I just don't want to have that uh, feeling. We're like, why did right. I do that? Why did I, now I can't surf or and I, now I have to work, but uh, yeah. yeah. And I we also that. loved that um, you do things as a family that, you know, yeah. something you guys all do as a family and not just surfing, but we see you outside, you do hiking and all kinds of stuff. So yeah. we, we love that. Um, that was actually inspiring us yeah. is to make uh, more of a conscious effort to do things as a family with the little ones yeah. outside. Yeah. We'll play outside yeah. all the time, but yeah. you know, giving them the experience of 
um, the beach time or the hike time or whatever. We're going to yeah. have you teach our children how to surf and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Easy. I think, I think especially with kids too, or as a group, a family, like to get the kids involved, it, it kind of has to be a new place all the time. Like mm -hmm. when you're trying to think of like something to do outside, like right. kids are so crazy. Like they get so bored with even doing like the most amazing thing ever, but <laughs> yeah. the same place all the right. time. They're just like, Oh, yeah. I did it. Already. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. When we would try to plan things, you'd try to be things that were like, outside active but at least new to them like maybe yeah like a different environment like we'll try to take Bella to see somewhere that's snowing or something because you right. won't have snow in Hawaii or, or just somewhere with a different type of tree or even a different beach you know if right. you go to the Pacific Northwest it's a beach but it looks completely different than Hawaii right. so it's still a good way to like do something you're comfortable with but getting excited because it it's different yeah yeah, yeah. changes up a little bit yeah and I yeah, love that, that, that you... I think that's how you travel and when you travel um like how is it do you look for places that you can surf when you when you're traveling nah not really so you know the longest vacation we'll take is maybe two weeks that's the longest you know mm. like most vacations are like a week 10 days and, and that's the same thing like we don't i don't save any money <laughs> i just like as soon as we as soon as we have any extra money we'll blow it and go on a vacation <laughs> and then so we'll just kind of base it around what time of year it is or what we haven't seen yet and mm. then we'll just try to find somewhere cheap to fly to yeah and then drive away from that place like oh. to, to me like yeah like flying to salt lake city or or la is like it's not really the first destination but it's usually a cheap flight oh and okay. so Smart. so from from there you could just like if you have a week 10 days you could you could drive across the country and, yeah and, right you know have a, week, a full so. adventure yeah, we, we yeah. literally just go find the, find the cheapest plane ticket. Because, yeah, I mean, for me, I'm lucky it's only three people. But most people, like, say they have two kids. That's four people right. or whatever. Like, that's a lot of plane tickets. So right. I, go, I go cheap and then just try to just drive somewhere. I mean, there's so many places that are close to somewhere. <laughs> that's, that's so true. And I was... Well, well, I know you asked about surfing, but are you usually doing something active on those vacations or do you uh, even think about that you're just out there well, having fun not really but a lot of the places we do like going are mostly the national parks yeah 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 and uh, so if you find a national park they have most national parks have like a layout where you can hike walk around to see all the nice things right but they're not like a crazy hike where you have to go on a ridge or you have to walk like eight <laughs> miles to see something right, right, like most right, of right. most of, most of the national park hikes are like two miles or less so oh, for me, it's like, to go. yeah, it's, go. it's a perfect, perfect way to do it. Like you're not going to tire the kids out. Um, you're still going to see amazing things all within a two mile walk. So and to me, I hate hiking. Like I love surfing, but I, hiking is like, I'm, you're a water. <laughs> you are like a water guy then. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm just definitely. not a walker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely not a walker. <laughs> what about a bike rider? Will you ride bikes? I could ride a bike if it's flat. Oh yeah, it's epic. <laughs> Not up mountain. But, uh, yeah. No, no up mountain. Even no if the hills. reward was to like go down, go I'd down. be like, this was not worth it. <laughs> yeah. Were you ever in the skate scene? I did skate a little bit, but I, w I wouldn't say I was like a scene star. I just kind of did it with mm. like two friends and none of us got good. It was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like the one thing you could do at night. You could just get a skateboard. That's true. Right. When I had a job, you know, like you would just go to like a tennis court and skate. Right. Right. on a tennis yeah. court for like two hours but you would you were always in the water and what would you tell somebody that was wanting to try surfing but maybe a little oh, shy or hesitant oh sorry oh there we go because nice. because that is nice lighting check you out so what would you tell someone that maybe wanted to start surfing but was hesitant or shy or maybe thinking that it was going to be too hard. What would you tell someone that wanted to get into the sport but was hesitant? I think that makes so much sense. Like, it is hard, but I think the rewards that pay off are worth every struggle that you mm. go through, like, when you start surfing. Like, it's so weird because surfing is – it. You have it's you're dealing with Mother Nature all the time. So, like, we've been taking our friends surfing for the past couple of years, and you you can see the frustration in the beginning. You remember that. You remember like, oh my gosh, I remember I thought I was doing everything right. I finally learned how to paddle. Like I'm not tired anymore. 
and then waves will just blast you all day. Okay. And it's just so <laughs> discouraging. And that's not your fault. It's, you know, just that's the true. waves. So right, it's like, right. it's so discouraging. It's, it's a tough thing to get into, but especially, but if you're in Hawaii and like you've thought about it and you've lived here for a long time, you're like, I've never really thought about surfing. It, I mean, it's so good for so many things. I would right. definitely try to, but you got to give it a real chance. Like, okay, even if give you it never a get real good at chance. surfing, even if you never got good at it, I mean, just the, the mental health of just uh, sitting out there in the ocean, it seems so lame to say it like that, but it's just like you sit out there and you honestly, everything just feels a little better. Like, you know, right. okay, I'm not as stressed because yeah. yeah, I don't know something about just like being in nature. Like you can't right. hear anything. You don't have headphones out there right. You're right. with your you're, phone. You're right. Disconnected, you're but you're connected. <laughs> yeah. You're just cruising. You, you, you turn around, you see the land, you see your parking spot. You're like, you're cool. But in the water, it's really hard to think about like your taxes and, mm. like, all that stuff is just like you're kind of just like looking for waves and just yeah. you forget everything but just that mental break every day is right is, is so much and, and besides, yeah like we're saying the physical things and all right. the other things and then if you ever do get like a super good wave that's the craziest high ever you're just gonna it be is. chasing that forever is it, yeah. i've it never is. i never is the most addicting one. yeah thing because you'll be like I, I'm, I'm gonna quit and then you catch a wave, yeah. you're like, oh, I'm gonna go back out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just like that. Nothing will replace that beginning stage too, because the oh. feeling of when you kind of get your first one is amazing. I still remember like the first time where I was like, I, I'm doing it. I'm so oh. like, yeah. yeah, I totally remember that. And, and you can see it like when you're out there and you see kids learning or, or whoever learning, you can tell they're just like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. wish you could feel that again. So. Ah, yeah, there, there's so many benefits besides the physical and the like, but yeah, to me, it's just like way easier than hiking. It's free. I mean, you have to buy yeah. a surfboard, but yeah, like yeah. people who like golf for health is crazy. Like you have to pay to golf every time. Right. Yeah. 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 I love that. You said, um, give it a real chance. I think that can go for yeah. so many things is give it. I sure right. didn't. I was like, my arms are broken. I'm done. Yeah. And then, it's tough. It, it was, is tough it was that's the thing too it's like even people that are, so you got to remember like even the people that are really good really good had a super tough time like mm. unless you're like okay. nine years old and you're gifted like some right. kids are just like can just click right. on anything yeah, right? like that's, yeah. That's, right. that's how kids are like they're doing backflips off of rocks if they're like right. five years old but right as an adult or like even after high school like yeah it, it's tough it's tough for everybody at first but the rewards later are like right amazing. i like that yeah, a lot. yeah but once you get it because even for you you had to learn the foiling Right. Yeah. yeah. And that, that was another thing. Cause I wanted yeah. that high of learning something again. Right. Yeah. I like so. that. Get high off of education people. <laughs> <laughs> high off of it learning. Is. That should be a shirt. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> if not, we need to make one. Um, okay. We're coming to the end, but is there anything, we just want you to leave maybe something with the listeners to inspire them. Like what is something you want them to take away from this conversation? uh i don't know yeah one of the biggest things that i've ever learned was just like man you know i'm i am concerned about how long i live like mm. i do want to live longer and you know if i kind of felt like i should i should at least pay attention so i'm not going to go crazy and be like read every ingredient of everything i eat correct right so i i'm aware that i have a lifestyle in the ocean or whatever that is helping me mm -hmm. and then you know i if i really wanted to really take it in the gear i could go to that like strict diet eating or something like that but Right. I think there's a way for everybody mm -hmm. to find a way that's like not crazy, mm -hmm. like yeah. not like crazy, but just add something to your normal lifestyle to fit it in where you're just, just thinking about the long-term goal, like right. to, yeah. What, the what's quality. that goal? Like, yeah. The yeah. Why do you want to live longer? Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Like, right. Oh, I want to see this and I still want to see this and I want to do this when I'm like, whatever, old, yeah. you know, like, there's totally like little things like, yeah. So, so like, say I had to move and never could surf again or whatever. I would try to find that activity mm. that I did like, like right. maybe it would go back to skating or something. That's but good. I'm sure there's other super fun things out there yeah. that are <laughs> like very easy to get into. And like, Hey, turns right. out like, man, this is gonna make you live longer or whatever. Like, yeah. Now you can, that, yeah. That yeah, you, absolutely. wherever you are, you're going to make it work for you. So even if someone's not by there's, the water, you find your thing there's got to be something right out there. Yeah. yeah i mean like yeah 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 like my brother and his kids all love basketball they'll play basketball mm -hmm. all the time yeah i yeah. i think jujitsu is like my thing yeah 
you know, I get hurt when I do it, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but oh, yeah, so surfing is, is your thing. Um, I don't know what my thing is yet. Shanna likes to, to build things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she, she works yard hard. Work. You know what? Yeah. I like to work in the yard. Uh, but, you know, everybody can so find now. their thing. And, I, and you found your thing. And uh, I, think, um, I think you did a good job today motivating <laughs> the listeners. Yeah, you did. You, there was a lot of really good takeaways. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but before we let you go, we My favorite part of the show is the lightning, the round, lightning round, 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 round. Oh, yay! Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask you some questions. little fun part. So this is called the lightning round, where I ask you random questions that most likely have nothing to do with fitness or anything like that. And okay. you're going to answer as quickly as possible. Um, and if you, would, if you need to go into the explanation of the answer, feel free to, especially if it makes it more interesting. But... Okay. I'm going to start. I don't actually know how many questions I have here. Normally it's 10, but for you, I think I added more. Okay. So, so John, you are originally from Boston. Yes. Do you know the state flower and or bird of Massachusetts? My guess is the, a daisy and um, a, 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 a crow. You are so a ra- so wrong. A raven. Everyone in Boston, Boston, Massachusetts, they're mad at you right now. Because <laughs> the flower is actually the Mayflower. Oh. I was going to guess that, but I was like, no, they're not going to get it. That's too obvious. Ship, are they? Yeah. they did. They yeah. did. Oh my and the wild turkey. Oh, gosh. Oh, nice. So wow. that was, yes. Or you could have gone with black capped chickadee. <laughs> they also accept that. So. Oh. That's all the Boston okay, trivia I, I will give I you since too. apparently you are not brushed up on your No. You should ask me about the Red Sox. Oh, okay. I have one question. Okay. When was the last time they won a World Series? Uh, 2016 mm-hmm. or no. 17? 16. Oh, really? Then Google Wait. lies because... Wait, 17 was the Astros, 18? 18. Did no. they really? Astros, then... The Cubs, right? Nationals. Cubs was 16. Well, Google Cubs said 2004. Is that wrong? No, that's the first time they won the World Series. In 86 like... years or something. Oh, yeah, so when yeah, was yeah. the last time? Because when I did Google search, they led me down the wrong Wait, path. No, I, th- I think they won. They d- so when was it? 2001. Uh, you guys. We're trying, trying to go backwards. Trying oh, so backwards you're a big, from... are you a big Red Sox fan? No, no, I'm a big San Francisco Giants fan. Oh. But... <laughs> But I'm just a Boston. big baseball fan. Yeah. Yeah. Baseball. You're a baseball guy. That's no, right. So, who, so it was Dodgers, and then before that was the Nationals, and then before that was the Astros, and then before that was the Red Sox? No. You're probably correct. I just don't know how to look up baseball trivia. So, oh, here we World go. World Series titles. Uh, yeah. 2018. 2018. John, yeah. you are correct. Google I was close. led me astray. I was close. We're just going to say you said 2000. But you're a Giants fan? Yeah, you're yeah. a Giants fan. Oh, we okay. learned something new. There you go. Very in- Okay. What was the last thing you took a picture of? Oh, somebody surfing. But it was, it was yesterday or two days ago. Oh. Yeah, at Barber's Point. Yeah. Just when, when Sam, so wife and two friends were surfing, I just brought my camera out instead of surfed. Ooh, oh, nice. Okay, so that's the next question. Yeah. Would you rather surf or take pictures of someone surfing? Oh, it really depends on the waves or, or, or the place. If it's at Pipeline, I would rather take pictures of Pipeline oh. than surf Pipeline. Like, because to me, it's obviously scary. Uh, <laughs> but if, the, if, the, if it's all my friends together, I would rather take pictures of all my friends than oh. surf. Yeah. Okay. Unless the waves were like really, really. You're good. like, sorry, guys, I got to get so, in here. <laughs> yeah. A little question to, go, to add to that. Uh, does it work when you stick a camera in a plastic bag, a Ziploc <laughs> bag? I've done put- that. <laughs> We saw. I've done that, and it has not worked. <laughs> Do not well, put your camera. Well, there's in a Zip picture blocks. on yeah. his Instagram of a camera, a broken camera. Was it was yeah, it broken it, afterwards? It, it, it broke immediately <gasps> after that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the comments in that post were hilarious. <laughs> like, did so, you really so think so that would stupid. work? <laughs> yeah. I really did. I really did. <laughs> uh, hey, you gotta try it. Okay. Yeah. The next place you want to visit? Oh, 
I either want to go back to Japan or I've been meaning to go to, oh man, there's so many. I want to go to Iceland. I want to go to Alaska. Oh, me too. Um, yeah, I want to go yeah. back to Japan. Uh, yeah. What about? Yeah, so it's one of those. Who would okay. you love to for- man, photograph? Oh man, that that's so good. Like I think about that a lot. There's not just, because there's a lot of like fashion editorial people that I feel like, man, that'd be a cool person to photograph. But honestly, man, I don't know. But because there, there's certain people like you want to say like your hero or your favorite baseball player, mm. your favorite actor, whatever. Mm. And then, but what if they suck? Like you don't want them right. to be like that's, that's true. true. A holes <laughs> like dude, all oh, that guy's a jerk, you know? Like, oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And then your dreams um, are crushed. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I I always thought like the White House staff photographer would be a crazy job. Oh so, you know, my gosh! Uh, you, usually, each president has its own staff photographer that you know um oh, like I obama's i think his his name was like pete souza i think but oh, i was like that oh. must be a crazy could job you imagine? Like, yeah. yeah yeah the pictures yeah. you could get the emotions you could get yeah I mean, and yeah hmm. you'd be yeah, a fly on the wall crazy. right <laughs> yeah yeah and but photography is crazy because you can make different moments feel different you can make right. people look mm, better or right. worse that's, that's right. true so it's yeah. kind of crazy that's so that is, interesting that is. Uh, I never would have I like thought see that that, that persp- I never thought about that it's got to be a photographer with a a specific uh perception to think about that answer. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I don't know. But but other, like uh, as a fun level I think pr- pretty much like any models fr- from like the 80s like Brooke Shields or Cindy Crawford I think would be like man those were like Cindy growing Crawford up is like my lady with her it's hair. It's crazy, right? God. Dude. Those photos, yeah. like Pepsi ads from back in the day, like so those, those like great. I want to recreate those photos. Like uh, I feel like, like yeah. we don't look like that anymore. Like nobody does. Drink Pepsi? Nah, what, it's know. just yeah. I think styles have changed, but yeah, people will look back at, at these days and be like, "Well, those people were so cool." I guess I so. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, that John Hook, he was a cool yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Except the early two thousands, that was not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, favorite Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Chris Pratt or Chris Evans? Probably Chris Pratt. Yeah, but that's yeah. I would think so. I don't obviously know any of them, but you would just hope you would meet him. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> be super. Are you a Parks and Rex guy? Oh, for sure. Me and Bella were just watching like, <laughs> so many episodes. Oh, he seems so to be good. like just that kind of guy, though. He does. Like the kind yeah. of guy, be like, hey, Chris, let's go hang out. Yeah. Like, okay, and then Wait, we'd hang out and be heard, friends. You've heard the story. He worked at Bubba Gump's in Alwana, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. how he got like his role, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, somebody like was like, "Hey, you should um, be," um, I don't know, like they give him a like a casting card or something. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh, from... could you imagine him being your waiter? He'd be such a good yeah. waiter. Yeah, he would. Yeah. He'd make. Yeah. Oh, he'd be great. Oh, Chris Pratt, if you're listening I, I to this, I still think it seems like he he held that down to earth. <laughs> yeah, he seems. Um, yeah, because this is heard... a this is a question we ask every interviewer who their favorite Chris is. So yeah. interviewee. maybe interviewee, interviewer. Oh yeah, interview guest or guest. What did you say, Chris Hemsworth, Pratt, and Chris Evans. Evans? Yeah, oh, I think uh, Hemsworth oh. surfs, right? Doesn't he surf? He's from Australia. Oh yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I've seen some photos. Of him this surfing. is the slowest lightning round we've ever had. Sorry, John. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a initial, slow the, drizzle rain uh, round. <laughs> the, the initial answer comes out quick, but then it I does, and then we talk. I know, and then we're like, hey, let's yeah. talk about Chris Pratt. Your dream surf spot? Uh, I guess Tahiti. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. True or false? You yourself have surfed down a sand dune wearing only small shorts and a fake life-sized horse head on top of your real head. True. Ah, <laughs> and if you are wondering what we're talking about, you just need to go follow him on Instagram. True or false? A skateboard has been made with your face on it. In four different John oh. Hook identities. It's true. Oh, yeah, do you ha- yes. Oh, I should bring out mine too, and we can all just show yeah. our surfboards of John. <laughs> so, ta da! Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and podcasters, you just got to go to YouTube and watch our video. Yes. I still have not picked my favorite picture. It's, it's hard. A, it's it, hard. That is a hard choice. That is awesome. <laughs> They're all very handsome. It's just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, got, those those were my um my driver's license pictures. I love it. That is yeah. this is yeah, you guys awesome. you have to watch the YouTube video so you can see what we're talking about. Okay. That is awesome. 
Have you ever taken a picture of someone with a full stack of fresh pancakes on top of their head? Oh, what is three pancakes a full stack? It yeah. looks like a full stack. <laughs> oh, that's a short stack, half stack. Well, maybe it's more than three. It looked like it was more than three. We did a whole breakfast series. My my friend had a restaurant, has a breakfast restaurant. Oh, and then now it's making. They sense. were like, they're like, you, we want to put some artwork on the wall for like a day. Oh. Like Oh. We did a whole breakfast. We did eggs and bacon on his head. We did yes. pancakes on his head. Did you eat we the food after? Milk and cereal. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I wonder. Like this is a random picture, but you know, it is, yeah. can be random. So maybe yeah. it's just the portrait of the day you wanted to take. Okay, that makes more sense for a restaurant. Do you still do yoga? And did you learn from Kukabunga? <laughs> no. <laughs> yo, yo, yoga is too advanced for me. I think I. I wish I could. Is Kukabunga giving lessons? <laughs> it can at least give surf lessons. <laughs> surf lessons. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to ruin the surprise, but you just need to go and follow John and see who Kukabunga is because it's, it will change you, your life. It'll change your life and you can't yes. explain it. It just has to be experienced. <laughs> John, where can people follow you uh, on Instagram? So the, the Instagram, my name is John underscore hook. I think John Hook was taken oh. by John the lawyer. Maybe, no, yeah. th some other John Hook, I think. Well, guess mm. what? He's not on Google, yeah. so <laughs> you, you won. You won that one. You won that round. On Instagram, maybe he won the first round. But you won. Google's much bigger than Instagram. So, so <laughs> say it one more time. Where can they follow you? Uh, John underscore Hook. Okay, great. And last yeah. question. Will you come back on and be a guest and maybe bring your beautiful model status wife and then we can interview her too? Yeah. Yay. She would hate it. She would hate it. <laughs> She'd be so fun though. <laughs> She'd be so fun. Yeah. I, yeah. And we wouldn't, I just want to talk to her through Zoom. We don't even yeah. have to talk about <laughs> fitness. Just talk about stuff. All the, all the broken things that we make and never sell. But, oh my yeah. gosh, yeah. Just give her a glass of wine and she would be okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, I love your wife very, very much. Well, um, thank you it. so much. You did it for being on the yeah. show. We thank did it. Thank you. Yeah. Very. I think everybody right? out there is inspired and motivated. I am definitely so thank you very inspired much. and motivated. <laughs> go surf. Go do something. Go foil. Go look it up and oh, find yeah. John. And then if you uh, need any photography, I would definitely call him. Also, he's just that guy that can do everything. He's just yeah. a commercial for me. It's yes. <laughs> What this is. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> really he does it all so except <laughs> eat healthy he does everything else except that oh yeah and don't ask him to walk yeah uh, yeah yeah <laughs> everything else to do but thank you john we yeah. really appreciate your time we know you're a busy right. guy and thank you for being here thank you very much all right Thanks. everybody go get them see you guys go get them yeah. 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 i'm a go get them